This is a 2018 Subaru Forester Touring Edition. These Subarus offer affordability, dependability, economy, functionality, maneuverability, practicality, reliability, safety, sensibility, and utility. And like most of the SUVs and crossovers these days, they offer these roof rails, which are so very useful. Or are they? Uh, there we go. Hmm, I don't think so. Thanks to the graciousness of Issy Auto, they sent me their crossbars. Let's put them on. These feel like a really high quality, lightweight aluminum. These look like and feel like an ABS plastic. And let's see, yep. Clearly mark the front and the rear, adjustable at both sides. Nice rubber inserts here, really nice construction. They've also provided security locks with keys, which you don't want to take that for granted. Even the OEM genuine Subaru crossbars, I don't believe they have security locks. If you leave these up there at the ski lodge, you know you're not going to get taken in the middle of the night. It's nice, it looks like they include us a tool. Let's open these up and get it mounted. Looks like Issy Auto has also provided some clear instructions. Make sure you're pointing the arrows to the front. First step, we got unlock those covers on the front rail. We get our key out here. Clearly identified as the front. Clearly marks where it's locked or unlocked. Oh, look at that. That's even nice too. Looks like you can't take the key out when it's unlocked. It only comes out when it's in the locked position. Let's take the right one off. And I know that because there's the arrows pointing to the front. Let's take the right one off. Very nice. You gotta loosen these clamps. Use their handy tool here. You don't fully remove the screw, it just simply loosens that claw on the bottom until we can swing that out of the way. It looks like that's loose enough to maybe make over what we need. Let me loosen this one here. All right, let's give it a shot and see if that's enough. Okay, so it looks like I need to uh, spread it open a little bit, but they account for that by giving some adjustment screws here. So it's got adjustability on the ends for any variance in the roof rail spread. So we'll loosen these up and we'll spread them out. Yeah, look at that. So they give you some flexibility. So I think I'll just loosen those up right now. There we go. Again, I'm making sure that the arrows are facing forward. Ah, that's looking better. Now they don't specify where these have to go, but I just happen to know the genuine Subaru parts. They have these go six inches back from that point. So we'll just do it about like that. That doesn't have to be exact, but might help with a little bit of buffeting. Yeah, this come back is quite a bit here. A little too much that time. That's about right. Man, things are really icy here today. Well, you move it just a smidge. Again, this is not required or spelled out anywhere. I'm just doing this because, again, I know that the genuine parts tend to do that. Now they specify these need to be like, uh, I think it's about 31 inch pounds. They put it in the instruction sheet. So I may grab my torque wrench and it's inch pounds, not foot pounds. You can see that clamp down there. So as we tighten this up, it brings that up. You don't want to over tighten these either. They say that because you don't want to strip it out. So I'd say for now, it's good, but now I want to tighten those adjustment screws on the bottom. Your righty tighty, lefty loosies backwards when you're doing it upside down. It is nice that they have this right angle tool though for this purpose. It's just a little difficult to kind of blindly do it. I was almost tempted to open the, the sunroof and do it from inside the cabin. I'm not really reefing down on this, just enough to snug them up and make sure they don't loosen. If you do want to torque it down, you're going to have to have a socket set of hex. And this is a 530 seconds. The instructions say you want to use 30 to 35 inch pounds. I'm going to do like 31. You also have to with these small ones. Sometimes you have to really be gentle. Hear that click? All right, that's where I'm going to call it right there. I think better to just do it by hand. I get very distrustful of some of these torque wrenches I get. And I'm just doing it to what I feel is 
decently tight. There's no gaps, which is really nice on these rubber seals. I think these are gonna be real well. I actually feel more comfortable just using my fingers to feel how tight that is. All right, let's put this back in place. Oh, that's really nice. Look at that. Very tidy, no gaps. That's feeling very sturdy. Okay, we gotta put it in the unlock. And then we put that, look at that, very nice. I like it. And that's not going anywhere. All right, let's do the rear. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these right now. Since the fronts needed a little adjustment, I'm just gonna go ahead and loosen up these adjustment screws. take these locks off there's the arrows so we know that's got to face front so this is our right one so we'll take that cap off we'll keep that on the right go ahead and loosen these up now Okay, arrows to the front. All right, we got this one here. Okay, I'm gonna get that tape measure again. This one I think I'll do about four inches. Again, just kind of taking it from what the genuine Subaru crossbars mentioned, at least symmetrical on both sides I think that's pretty good again let's just snug these up and then I'll hit those adjusters in the bottom This plate that clamps from the bottom, it's got a rubberized feel to it, so it's not marring the roof rails. I really appreciate that. Because at speed on the highway, any little gap can make a whistling noise. This is very tight. We'll check it out on the highway and see what the noise levels are like.
They don't interfere with the sunroof. Here in Michigan, we have to routinely take our vehicles through automatic car washes to help mitigate the accelerated corrosion from the road salt that's placed down during the winter months. We're gonna put these EC Auto crossbars to the test and see how they work going through an automatic car wash. Hopefully this won't be a big fail. And just like those big airliners have to live and fly by the amount of weight that they're carrying so is true with the subaru the genuine subaru roof rails and the that come from the factory are rated for 150 pounds and thankfully these ec auto crossbars are just that they're rated for 150 pounds When you look at the mounts on those skis, there's plenty of clearance between the roof with those Thule ski racks. I'm gonna leave the crossbars on. They clearly can make it through an automatic car wash. It really makes the car look a little more athletic. I think they're more than just functional. They've got some real style. So if you're looking to put your roof rails to work, pick up a pair of these EC Auto crossbars. I think you'll find them just as useful as I do. It brings back the utility to your SUV.